Hello, welcome to RC Video Reviews. In this Edge TX snippet, I'm gonna show you a two-stage arming sequence that's timed. Hey, before I get started, I just need to let you guys know that I've done a lot of videos on arming and there's always opinions out there. The thing to take away from this is it's another technique. So you can mix and match and, and use these techniques to create the arming sequence that you like the most. There is no one correct way, right? Everybody's got an opinion on this. So I just wanna say that up front that if you don't like this arming sequence, you don't have to use it. But if you do want something that gives you a little bit more safety on arming, this is a pretty good technique. Before I start, if you're not familiar with my radios, I put my arming switch over here on the top right. Normally that's a momentary switch. I switched my momentary switch with a two position switch. So that's my arming switch. And then on this side, I have a momentary switch. So I just flip them. Before we get into the logic, I'm gonna show you that the plane is locked right now. And you can see as I move my throttle stick, I don't have any movement on my channel three. You can see that that is locked right there. And if you bring up the channel monitor, if you didn't know about this, in the channel monitor, there's even a little icon right there, that little blue icon, that indicates a lock. So it doesn't matter what I do with this stick, even though the mixer sees movement, you can see the output is locked at negative 100. So the output is not moving. Okay, let's get into the logic. The first thing we're gonna do is a check. That we want. What we wanna do is a check that says, when I move the rudder all the way over, that's the thing that initiates the arming sequence. And you can see I've got an edge switch that times eight seconds. That'll last for eight seconds. That's the timing sequence that I mentioned in the opener. So now that that eight seconds is over, all those lights went off, right? So the idea is that when you move this throttle stick over to the left, you have eight seconds to complete arming. If you don't complete the arming process when they, within the eight seconds, you have to start over. You have to move that stick over to the left again. Okay, so that's the first one. The other thing is, notice there's an AND switch down here, and if I open this up, you can see it. There's the AND switch right there that says SH has to be toward the pilot, right? And the idea there is you cannot initiate the arming sequence unless your throttle is in the lock position. Your throttle lock has to be on, and until it is, you cannot initiate the arming sequence. So if I turn my arming switch off, now it's open, that's unlocked. Watch what happens with this screen, right? I can't, nothing that I do with this stick, I can, my throttle light comes on, but that's a different story, but nothing, nothing illuminates, right? There's no arming that's possible if the SH switch is not up or toward me. So my SH switch is back in the arm position. That's what L01 does, okay? It ensures that your throttle lock is on and that you initiate the arming sequence by moving the rudder over to the left. Now, you can use any of these controls on this radio you want. You could use another switch. You could use a slider, a pot, a stick. You can do whatever you want. I just used rudder because it's just easy to demonstrate that way. Now, logical switch number two this one ensures that your throttle is down. If your throttle is not down all the way, all the way down, you can't go through the arming process. And the reason for that is we don't want to arm the plane with a throttle halfway up. And then as soon as you arm it, the propeller starts spinning and it takes off, right? We want to avoid that. So L02 checks for that. It ensures your throttle stick is all the way down. And when it is, that lights up. So you can see L02 just lit up. That's because my stick is all the way down. Okay, that's just another logical switch. Now, the next thing that we're going to do is create an edge. Now, if you're not familiar with edge, I do have a video on the channel that explains every single logical switch function, but what an edge switch does is basically a momentary switch. It's no, not really different than clicking any other momentary switch like this one. You click that, that's a momentary switch. That's an edge switch. That's all it does. So what happens in this edge configuration is that I look for L01 to go on, and when L01 goes on, this stays lit for eight seconds. That's the safety mode. So if we don't arm the craft within eight seconds, then we have to start the process over. Okay, now we start actually getting to the bottom of the scenario, right? The, the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna look and see if L2 and L3 are on together. And what that means is the stick has to be down and the rudder has to be pushed over to initiate the timer. So L4 simply lights when that occurs. So I'll show you, I'll show you by keeping the throttle down. So L2 is on. And now we're gonna move the throttle stick over to the left. That should bring up L4. Okay, what that means is we're clear to arm. That when you see L4 go on, that means that's like the bullets in the chamber, right? You're ready to fire. Okay, that's what that means. So that's a that's a hot radio right now. We're getting ready to pull the trigger, so to speak. 
So the next thing that we're going to do is we'll arm by hitting the SH switch. And when we do that, you can see that L05 simply looks and says, if L4 is on, meaning we got a bullet in the chamber and they pull the trigger, if that happens, then L06 says when L5 goes on, then we actually fire the gun, right? We actually pull the trigger. So L06 is the thing that actually turns on the arming. And I'll show you that in the special function in a minute. So we'll go through the entire process. And what we're looking for is L06. When that L06 goes on, it's kind of like we've armed the craft, right? That's when the arming actually occurs. So we'll initiate the sequence by moving the rudder all the way to the left and then hitting the unlock switch. And we do that, L06 goes on. That's an armed craft. Now L06 will stay on even though this edge switch goes off because it's a sticky. Remember, a sticky is just like a light switch. So once you turn it on, there has to be a, a counter action to turn it off. And that's what this value does over here. This is SH down. What that means is the craft will stay armed until I pull this SH switch toward me. Once I pull that switch toward me, it's going to disarm the craft. See, L06 goes off. For the special function, we simply say when L06 is not active, we want to override channel 3 to negative 100. That's it. That's simple. And I'll show you what it looks like in the editor so you can see it. This Notice there's a little exclamation in there. It might be hard to see on the video, but there's an exclamation. That means not L06. Okay, So not L06 means when L06 is not active, we're going to override channel 3 with a value of negative 100, and there's a little enable check there. So whenever you see this light on, that means that the throttle lock is in effect. And I'll prove it by clicking on the channel monitor and showing you the little lock icon. And then we'll also move the stick. So you can see my output, the gray bar, that's not moving. That's because it's locked. Now we'll go through the sequence one more time. And what should happen if we arm the craft the correct way is this highlight should go off, which means L6 is active. The first thing we have to do is make sure our SH switch is up toward us. Remember, you can't start the sequence unless your throttle lock is on. Then we're going to pull the throttle all the way down and the rudder all the way to the left. Now I have eight seconds to activate the switch. I'll do that by hitting SH. And when I hit SH, you can see that this is now not highlighted. And if we look at our channel monitor, you can see the little lock is gone and we have control over the output, right? The output is now moving. That gray bar is moving up and down as I move that stick. Now it'll stay that way, that sticky stays on, until I deactivate the light switch by pulling SH. When I pull SH in, you'll see what will happen is this output will instantly slam all the way down to negative 100. So there's the negative 100, that means we're locked again. One other thing I want to show you about this process is you can initiate it with the throttle not being at zero, but you can't complete it unless the throttle is brought down to zero. So I'll show you what that looks like. I'll move the rudder all the way to the left and you can see that kind of starts the process. Now I'll click my arming switch and unlock the plane. Nothing's happened until I pull that throttle down. When I pull that down, everything else completes. The sticky for L6 goes on. And if we look at the special function, we can see the override is no longer in effect which means I have control over the throttle. So I just wanted to point that out as a little bit of a nuance, and I'm okay with that because you still, at the end of the day, you cannot arm the plane or the craft unless your throttle comes all the way down to zero. So it's okay if it's out of sequence, you don't have to do throttle first, then rudder, it can be either one, but you do have to complete the process within the eight second timer. If you decide you want to change the time value, you can go into L03 and edit it and just change the duration. So if you want to be, if you want to have, say, a 10 or a 15 second window, you simply change this number to 15 and that'll give you 15 seconds to arm. You could also lower the clock. So if you want to do something where you have a much tighter window, you could lower it, say, down to three. Just remember, you got to complete the entire sequence within three seconds. I'll run through it with a three second window just to show you how it works. It's not that hard to do, it's no big deal, but uh, so my throttle is all the way down, rudder to the left and unlock. And there we go, L06 is on and we're ready to go. If you don't complete the sequence within three seconds, of course, all these lights go off and you have to start over by moving your rudder all the way to the left. Okay, that's all I've got on this two-stage time arming sequence. I hope you liked the video, and if you did, please hit the subscription button and the notification bell down there in the corner so you know when new videos hit the channel. That's all I've got for today. Take it easy. Hey, if you like the work I do here on RC Video Reviews, please consider joining me on Patreon. For about the price of a cup of coffee, you can help me keep making videos just like this one. If you'd like to help out, there's a link in the description and on your screen.